welcome, welcome, welcome to yet another episode of the Optic Podcast, episode number 56, The Fly. This is The Fly. <laughs> this is The Fly Cast, literally. This is The Fly Cast. This is literally The Fly Cast. Okay, so to give you a little bit of background as to why you so, see... So, something bad happened. This, uh, that we found a dead body in here. Whoa! <laughs> you know what's crazy? They, just, we, came out of they did just come from they, nowhere. They, we they won, they're, they're fame horse, these, these <laughs> effing flies. What the hell? Okay, all right, so... To give you a little bit of background, we just moved into this new place, and the old tenants left um, left their garbage Man, here. Dirty ass Everybody was flesh. gone for a week, and um, that Texas heat just the roasted Texas, them yeah, up. Yeah, just gross. Anyway, cooked them up. So we've been gone for a week. We apologize for not uploading a video last or a podcast. Almost caught that sanitizer. I apologize for not uploading a. We should take a pause right here. That intro was dope, but we should take a pause and get rid of all the flies. Yeah. I swear, yeah, guys, I it. shower. I swear. I really all right. do. All right, and we're back now that we took care of the fly cast. Now, we, we didn't upload last week because we were all at E3, which is what the main topic of the conversation today is going to be. Ashley, you watched from home, so you can... Dude, uh, yeah, I got, like, a, I, I, I soaked it all up because I was super sick. I wasn't supposed to go to E3, but I was supposed to go to Anaheim. Yeah. I watched all of E3. And I think standout for me is that, what's the 2077, the robot? What's it called? Oh my God, none of you know what I'm deep talking punk. about. Deep Punk, no idea. Yeah. Deep Punk, Deep no, Punk. No, I feel so terrible. Cyberpunk. The Witcher, Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk 2077 yeah, yeah, yeah. looks super good. What is it? I, I didn't yeah, get a chance to see it. It looks like a, like a robot, kind of futuristic. FPS? Like, yeah, no, it's, it, it looks like, like a Witcher? story game. Is that, oh. It looks like an RPG. Witcher, oh. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do know what you're talking about, yeah. Yeah, That's it what looks everybody was saying. It was like, it's, yeah, I mean, it's like the Witcher, series, yeah, just, but it's incredible. So, yeah. yeah. Have you ever been to E3 before? No. Ever. Never. Mike, you're disgusting. Dude, he did it. Mike just did it. Bro, wash That's your hands gross. now. <laughs> Ew, he's go, touching go to it. some other fly cat. Eat it. That's terrible. Oh my God. You don't want to go wash your hands real quick? No, I didn't pop. Dude, Hector is having like a mini meltdown right now internally. He's like, how? But I'll shake your hand. Nope. So, <laughs> so again, there's there's a couple of flies in here because of the garbage. So you have you have never been to E3? Before? No, no, no. And Mike, you have? This is my second, third one that we just came back from. First, yeah. first, first E3. So it was like my seventh one in a row. Um, and for the past three years, I literally go have the meeting that I need to have to or show up to the place that I need to show up and then I get out immediately there's no like hanging around and checking out different video games this time however uh, I promised Olivia that I was going to get her some Pokemon stuff because they just announced Pokemon on the on the Switch, Switch so I did I got her a couple of Pokeballs and, and that's that Aww. That's, cool. that's cool nice we went to the Fortnite thing too or was that a separate party oh no no that's so we, we can get to that. I just wanted to get your your your, <laughs> oh, still your standouts Gage what's your standout Lord. Mike what, what game are you looking Game, I mean, I was excited for the Halo stuff, but it was just a teaser. Yeah. Because of that, everyone's like, yo, it's probably not going to come out until 2020. It's like, that's kind of how I feel about it. Yeah. That's crazy. I also think, even though, like, it showed that it was, like, an old school feel, like, I don't... You don't trust it yet? Yeah, like, I feel a little... Yeah. Like, I'm trying to get... I'm, try, I'm being hustled in this. They're trying to ping your... They're trying to ping the nostalgia. A little yeah. bit too good to be true. Yeah, like, that type of feeling. I was just like, eh... It literally looked like it. a Halo 1, like, remake. The, the problem with that is that we... Everybody, including Microsoft, <laughs> knows that they had to have a good Xbox showing. And the fact that they didn't, to me, is like... Because what else did they announce? What, what else is Xbox coming out with? Besides Modern Warfare 3, backwards combat. Yeah. <laughs> like, li literally nothing. And, and, uh, and I was disappointed because I really thought that they were going to be announcing something regarding the, the, you know, Halo that wasn't, what is it, what is it, Guardians? Uh, that was Halo 5. It was like, yeah, like everyone's Guardians or whatnot. Infinite. And then infinite or something. Was infinite, just Infinite Halo? Uh, Halo Infinite. In infinite Halo, there you go. Or yeah. Halo Infinite. Dyslexia. Anyways, yeah, but... Yeah, I don't know. I, I wasn't too too impressed by by the Xbox, you know, showing a, a lot of people, especially when you have, um, you know, first time show, you know, first time show like like uh, like Fortnite. If you went when when you went to the Fortnite uh, booth, it was unlike any other Fortnite. They had a, a bull riding, uh, what, do you, what do you call it, llama, llama, llama. a bull riding llama, llama that you can yeah. that you can ride. It was super immersive. They had. They they did everything right again. They had the small shield potions is everywhere. Yeah, they had minis. The little, the, yeah, the minis. <coughs> they had mi fill it up with the blue water, whatever yeah. it was. Yeah. 
And they had chug jugs at, or uh, slurp juices at the party, right? All yeah. the garbage cans around the Fortnite area were the garbage cans from the game. Yeah. yeah. Like, they went all out. They yeah, really so the, the, again, they did things right, not only inside the game, but outside the game for the, for the immersive experience that you would expect at any video game. When you go to Call of Duty, you literally just show up, you play the video game, and that's that. There's no take a picture with, you know, with an exoskeleton or, I don't know. Yeah, like a, like a character or maybe something. even somebody like professionally dressed you know up and like posed. There was no store. Fortnite had a store selling pins, pop sockets, uh, merch, you know. Yeah. The only thing they didn't have was a coffee cup, which I would have loved. <laughs> the, the coolest booth to me wasn't even Fortnite, it was the Tomb Raider booth, which I have what? no interest in playing Tomb Raider, but it was like, yeah. it looked like a Disney ride. Like, what? like, like moss hanging from the seat, like hanging from the, I don't know, the structures. And like you went, you like checked in uh, to play the game and it looked like a, like an ancient, like cave or something. Yeah, it was crazy. Um, but I didn't play it, but I, I looked. It was Call, <laughs> Call of Duty was never really big into story, was it? Or is story a big thing? Uh, Old like, school. Like, yeah, what, back what in is, the day. What is the story of Fortnite? Oh, I don't know, but I'm saying like for Tomb Raider, Four Nights is just its own beast. But I mean, like, yeah. I feel like like when I used to do the stuff with Destiny, like Destiny would be you would walk into a line and then you would go through like a debrief, like yeah. in a little theater, and then yeah. you'd play the game. Yeah. Where like you said, with Call of Duty, it's just game and you're done. Yeah. Yeah, and, and not that it, not that it bothers me, but it kind of does because you know when when you have a game that's that just like popped up like, as it did, uh, like Fortnite did, and you have you have the ability to go take a picture in front of the battle bus, picking up uh, an axe. And luckily for me, they had both. They had uh, the, the Great White Shark is Chomper, I think it's called, and they had the Unicorn one, which are the only two that I use. Well, I use the Ninja one too, but these are the two. I was like super, super like, holy crap, this is so awesome. I sat there and took several pictures. When I got out, some kid gave me, and I came, some 20 year old gave me uh, two, two, uh, two lapel pins. One of them was a, um, a Chug Jug or some of the slurp juice and a, uh, a bush. And I was like, how many of these are there? And he's like, five. I'm like, yo, let me get three more. And then he's like, he's like no, nah, man, I can't. And I was like, all right, cool. So now I'm, I'm, the whole time I'm thinking, how am I going to get all five of these pins, right? Because it, I, it, it made me want to get those pins the way that I get every single skin that comes out. You know, so it's, it's been a, that, that to me was like the, a super, super winner Fortnite. Yeah. <clears throat> and I don't, 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 don't get me started on the party of Fortnite, okay? You got to talk about the party. Yeah, you have to. You have an interesting story. Yeah, you party. got the llama story. You heard it? I mean, it was. I think it was in one of his videos. Oh. Yeah, sick. Anyway, did you go to, to uh, the Fortnite, uh, not party, I, to the Fortnite uh, oh, booth? Booth? Yeah. Uh, the Fortnite booth was, was dope. There was, I, I don't even know, were there people playing? Like, what were they playing? They were playing, <clears throat> yeah. But there was, like, a, such a small play. Yeah. Everybody else was so busy enjoying, like, the, yeah. the build-out. It seemed like there was no line to play at the Fortnite booth, whereas every other line for every other game was just, like, packed. Like, yeah. people were sitting down in the Black Ops 4 line. Just, yeah. Like, the whole line was just sitting down because they had been standing there for so long. And I was just like, no, thank you. Yeah, what, what there was a line for was for you to, to take um, a, a hang glider... Like picture, picture yeah. or, or or gif, and then next to it it was the dance the thing. The dance, yeah, yeah. But the dancing looks super cool. Line. Yeah, yeah, that had a long line, so you, you, they literally put you in the game. So again, they did everything. I don't, I don't I want to stop kissing their ass, but the party was they even better. Yeah, and it's not it's not so much just kissing their ass as it is like giving them props, applauding good, straight up yeah. good work. I mean all of that, but. This game came out of nowhere and in less than a year is already doing so much more than all of these other AAA developers have been doing the whole time. Yeah. Like they could have been doing so much, like, and I guess that's kind of unfair, but they could have, I mean, realistically, they could have been doing so much more. And I mean, COD is kind of different because they're on such a time, like, but uh, time restraint, but for all these other games, man, like. No excuse? Halo, like, imagine, yeah. imagine Halo. Two slash Halo Three with, like, if they did what Fortnite's doing now, like, huge, like, if you go to E3 and there's this huge thing, you take a picture with Master Chief, like, I don't know, like, that you could do, there's a huge warthog in there or something, like, the, there could be anything, and I feel like I don't know why they never do that either, because it's like. At all their other tournaments, they've always had stuff like that, like yeah. the warthog, yeah, the yeah. seven foot master chief, like all that stuff. Yeah, and yeah, you think it's think like I've... a space issue? Like every game can't have as big of a 
space and section as Fortnite did, or I guess I, w I didn't see like how big spatially the different but, booths I mean, were, but. Well, Fortnite did was, it was pretty big, but. They balled out. Well, no, but it was there's, towards, there's towards like the, yeah. the, the, towards the back. And the main hallway that you walk into, where Activision, where uh, Call of Duty is, where uh, Tomb Raider, Forza, Twitch, YouTube yeah. TV, like all these like studios and, and, and spaces, wasn't even the big one. The big one was all the way across the, the, the convention center, where you walk in and you see Nintendo, you see Xbox, you see PlayStation. It's like just, Nintendo the, the, the Nintendo there. one was massive. It was like yeah. half the place. I didn't even go to that side of the... Yeah, you should have, man. I it was, I'm, I'm, I missed out. The, 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 How about the, that announcement, though? With the Switch and Fortnite. That's, that's huge. Game changer. Did you guys see huge. some of the like clips of it on Twitter? No. no. You guys know Legion? Yeah. 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 Buddy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got it. He got it on the switch, and he was home. Oh, the so he, one? yeah. And yeah, then yeah, he yeah. like he would. He started streaming it, you know. And then yeah. he started. You know how like everyone uploads these sick like, twenty seven floor hotel clips on Twitter. Like yeah. they're balling. Everyone on the switch is terrible. Yeah. So he's just highlighting that and like just laughing yeah. and how fun it is. So. Okay. Because people are starting to just. Yeah, they just don't know, or maybe they don't know the controls. Like yeah. they're not even. It's well, kind of like right when. Like my daughter that has to switch. Yeah, you never well, know. Well, T. Martin said he's played, his, he he played his like first like ten games. He won like eight of them with like fifteen kills. So, and that's that's T. Martin. Have you played? I, I, I haven't. I haven't switch. played with a controller. I haven't played a single game of Fortnite with a controller. Have you? The first time I played Fortnite, I played it on PS4, and I was like. I had an easy time playing, and yeah. I was like, "This game will never take off." Yeah. <laughs> but but then then I moved to PC once I got a little more interested, and I was like, yeah. once I found out like how difficult it is to like switch. Apparently now, like with Builder Pro on yeah. PS4, it's a lot easier to like build up very quick. Builder Pro is dope. Yeah. yeah. I'm well, not interested. Do you play in obviously with a controller? Yeah. Do you? Uh, I, he plays on PC with a controller. controller. Well, I only play how? on PC now because it's like I'll play with people, and they're either on their Xbox or whatnot. And I think that's why that the PS4 won't be able to connect with the Xbox or Nintendo Switch. Like, or what? Or the Nintendo Switch. The what? Nintendo. The Nintendo. Yeah, the Nintendo. The Nintendo. <laughs> he it's said. It's an East Coast thing. <laughs> but Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo. And Xbox, and I thought that was like really annoying. Like, that's I like guess a, that's more on the develop. Not yeah, developer. Yeah. That's more on the like Xbox and, yeah. and PlayStation. Yeah, it's like and a Sony, Fortnite, Microsoft. I'm sure Fortnite. Yeah, they don't care. Did, did you hear that if you have your Epic account attached to a PlayStation account, you can't attach the same account to yeah. the Switch yeah. because Sony's like we or don't the want. Xbox as well. Yeah, we don't yeah. want like. But that's that's messed up though. I, I think what makes what makes Epic or what makes Fortnite Fortnite is the ability to to be able to play with anyone in every platform, and I think that this will soon go away. Because Fortnite is too big of a game to not have his say, you know. Yeah. Think about this. Think about this. Fortnite says to them, you know what? We're taking uh, unless you you make it, you know, as seamless as possible for people to to be able to what uh, the, the fly <laughs> to be able to uh, to take your your account everywhere. Then you know we're taking our game off of your platform. Period. It's a risky move, man. I don't know. You hear that? Yeah, that's why. Yeah, I was we're just town back there. Um, Sorry, there's a dead, a fly, a fly dying back here somewhere. <laughs> R.I.P. Um, yeah, I don't know though, because I think if anybody right now, Sony's running everything. Like, yeah. Did nothing... you guys see? Did you play the first Last of Us? You guys interested yeah, no. at all? I watched no. Yeah. You probably would be if you've been getting into story games. Last oh, of Us yeah, Two I... looks amazing. Yeah, The Last of Us. Is... That's with the girl and the guy, right? Yeah, it's and where the like he, like like he has to take her because it's like zombie apocalypse. She, she has you. like the cure, yeah, yeah and so okay. he's got to take her. So the first game's incredible, and now like the second game, she's like all grown up, and it's like yeah. super cool. A lot of people too like kind of age the same as her, so I think that's yeah. where a lot oh, of interest yeah, yeah. is. No, like but like if they played it a few years ago, uh, yeah, and Ellie was younger, and now she's like twenty-ish yeah, or that's pretty something. Dope. Yeah, so. I think that's that that one in the oh, robot I'm game or whatever. I'm I said. so excited for The Last sick. of Us. Yeah. When The Last of Us Two comes out, see you later. Yeah. See you later. Don't talk later. to me. Um, <laughs> the um, the one the one uh, the one thing that I will say, and I know I was trashing a little bit the, the the experience at the Call of Duty booth. I played Call of Duty for Call of Duty Black Ops Four for about an hour and a half straight. Dang. Um, did they? And did you have to like do something to play it long or? No, Deserto went in, went there, and they just needed a professional to play it. Oh. Poor them, because they got me. <laughs> and, I was and, say. I, and without a scuff, I am trash. That along with the fact that I haven't played 
Call of Duty since yeah. I started playing I was Fortnite. Say, you haven't played Cotton for it, it's yeah. it's bad, right? And and it was it was as bad as you thought. I would be pressing my paddle jump to side strafe jump, and I couldn't kill. And I, 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 they were like little <laughs> kids, man. Okay? Like little, a little, little kids thirteen who, year old, little thirteen the year olds who on any other Call of Duty had I been playing would have absolutely zero chance. Yeah, to yeah, those compete little kids. with me. <laughs> anyway, no, this was like anyway, it doesn't matter, but. This is what I will tell you about Black Ops 4 playing it, and then you guys, tell, you didn't get a chance to play it yet. Mike, did you play it? No, I didn't play it. You played it, it for sure, right? All right, yes. so, okay. So what I, what I will say about that is that the game is so similar to Black Ops 3, which is a good thing, that I missed the, the, the slide boost, and I, I missed the wall running. Not gonna lie, yeah. I, did, I, 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 I did miss it. Most people, yeah, exactly. But until you play it, you're gonna be like, it is really weird. It is super weird. Because everyone knows I'm anti wall run, anti boost. Yeah. But I, I spawned in and I slid and then I hit X twice. Yeah. You're to try trying to, to do your little G to try to boost. Looking. And then I was like, what? Yeah. Why did I just do that? Yeah. But but it's uh, aside from that, it is smooth, obviously expected. Like anything yeah. that you would expect from from a from a David Vonderhaar game, it was. It was smooth. Yeah. The colors were super, super vibrant, yes. which to me is like a super plus because playing World War II was like playing Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 3 to me was the worst color graded game yes. in the history of Call of Duty. And Call of Duty 2 yes. was yes. on an Fact. Xbox 360. It was, it was this one. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was bad. World War II, same thing. Yeah. Everything's gray and green, <coughs> dirt. I just didn't like it. This I one, like that fire. Concept, like, just because you're making World War II game, like, why keep it like, I'd want to make Gritty. it as visually as possible. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, really capture all the moments and not like yeah they were darker days yeah well that, yeah, that's right it's the, it's the same world yeah. really. what, what we also didn't get a chance to see was uh blackout which is one of the main reasons that i said you know what they they might have this like yeah. i was hoping to show up i didn't see von Erhard at all so that sucked but i was hoping to show up and then von would be like Yo, come on, come on, show yourself. yeah and then like look and it's just like gameplay and i, I see the person dropping and and how it looks, yeah. uh, but we didn't get a chance to. So I guess at Champs is when they're gonna unveil that thing. It's gotta what, be. That's that has what to be worries something. me. Why? It's the same thing with Halo. It's just like they're gonna use it as an advertising platform for the next one. Yeah, it's just like there's not like it's getting kind of close, and you, you feel like even if they had anything, like anything to hype anyone up, they would have shown it. Yeah, and it's kind of like. Wow! Like yeah. I don't want to, now. Like because if Blackout would have been at E3, my hopes would have been like very high. But because nothing was there, I'm not. I'm just not even gonna get my hopes up for Blackout. <clears throat> and then if it's good, it's good. Kind of the same thing. I think <clears throat> like maybe like maybe like champs because the the idea with it, I think that would be like get people hyped, which they probably should have done at E3. They didn't really have like a big spread though. Because they'd already done their reveal yeah. like a few weeks before. But like, yeah. what if at Champs they're like showing something new about Black Ops 4, and then at the end, like, you remember like the Modern Warfare 2 trailers, and they'd have like that stinger at the end yeah. where it was like it showed just a little bit. All you have to do is give us a like little a bit, and we will go something. wild. Yeah. So if that they could just true. like put a tiny bit of gameplay somewhere, yeah, and just like peak interest, like the fact that like you said, there's nothing is kind of like oh. The, the cool thing. thing November. Blackout. October. October, yeah. It's the yeah. earliest release ever. Cod history. Um, the, the October? Cool, yeah. October, like 12th or something so, like okay, that. Okay, so August, September. So, okay. So, there. Champs is August. in two months? Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Champs yeah, they super, have to have something there. Only, and you know, I think... There's only two more events, right? There's season two finals and Champs. That's it. Yeah. Jesus, and this also, year went by super by. fast. It really did. Um, Was there le less events? Sorry, Ash. No, I don't think there was. I don't think there were. Like I th well, I think technically, like there wasn't like a UMG sprinkled in there like it used to be back in the day. But like, yeah. this feels like their season ran normal. Yeah. Holy, we had such like a insane bad year. Oh. Insane. <laughs> no, yeah, that. But, but we also had insane changes in the in the on the, on the team. Yeah. That it should have seemed longer than it is. Yeah. Which is, I mean, I guess with all the everything that's been going on. Like that kind of like you know yeah. you get distracted of, of yeah, what matters. That is true. So like, you're not like I feel like this year is the first year we weren't like focused. Like yeah, yeah. Was, this is like there was a lot of hoopla yeah, a lot going of on. Yeah, shit going on. So. Holy crap, man! Flew by. But talking about Black Ops Four, I think first of all, uh, you jump 
so far. Like scuff really? jumping around a corner, you probably go twice the distance that you usually go in a regular. It's like Dietrich tree strafe jumping in COD Four. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you just like you just jump around a corner and you literally like fly. You're and like a, also, it's like an actual hop. Yeah, kind it's of like thing? a it, it's like a jump. You you probably jump as far as you slide in Ghost. Yeah. Did the player what? feel yeah. faster? It's Black Ops Three. Yeah, exactly. It's not. It's Black, it's Black Ops Three. The player. Oh, like base I can't remember. It's it's Black Ops Three. Uh, uh, to me, it felt super, super fast. Yeah. And, and the, the jumping is the one thing that, that, that drew my attention. The other thing that drew my attention is the fact that when you're shooting at someone, it takes longer to kill them oh. than any other thing. So I would catch myself, she was like, Prrr, and then turning, and I'm like, and then turning back, and yeah. you know, like. And then you gotta heal, too. It's definitely so the it's longest like time to kill. Talk about the, he the healing stuff. Yeah, so. Uh, there's Do you guys like it? Like first impression? What do you think? I only played. I played for an hour and a half, and not, I never used it. <laughs> I never fucking used it. <laughs> so I, I only played for three Hector games. Hector was playing hardcore Call of Duty. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think it could be cool. I, I like, I like, I like I think, the idea. Are they unlimited or is like, Yeah, or yeah. no, well, there's a timer. Charge, yeah. So there's there's two versions of it. There's the normal one, which I think takes like seven seconds to recharge and you could heal again. And then there's like a perk or whatever the heck you can put on and it like almost instant. You just keep healing yourself. Yeah. Okay. And I haven't played, so I don't really, don't, I can't really like p yeah, make, yeah, yeah. make an opinion on it, but okay. like, I feel yeah. like Call of Duty needed an extra layer of something. I don't know if this is the right thing, but Call of Duty needed like something to, think, to make think, it different. I think the layer that it needed is, is blackout. BR. Oh, oh you you're that, fucking gross. Right here, dude. Dude. Oh, yeah, right there, look. No. Yeah. Oh, that's a mole. <laughs> Oops. Mike and Davis killed flies. Oh, there it is. Does that mean the fly cast is dead? It can't be. Yeah, it's all. <laughs> it's yeah, Nick. That was Nick. <laughs> no, it's all of So it um, I, again for me, I played for an hour and a half, and I not once did I ever. My That's brain amazing. Doesn't work that day. My, yeah. my brain didn't work that way. I can I can see how it will be useful once you get used to it, and once you start, like once you implement it once, and your brain like says, all right, this is what you have to do. Then your muscle memory will then do that, but I, I didn't I, for an hour and a half. That's hilarious. I also think this year is going to be huge for COD Esports. It has to be. Did you hear the news? There's like a rumor that they want to do what they did to oh, Overwatch. Yeah, yeah I mean, Call the, of Duty. I was about to that's say That's a whole other. I've known about that. <laughs> I have not known about this. Okay. Is that a but whole other podcast been, topic been, another day it's, or what? It's been a rumor for like over a year. No, yeah, well, when they did it with Overwatch, because Activision Blizzard, if you guys don't know, like does Overwatch. Yeah. So we like kind of took that and was like, well, would they do that to COD? And now it's like sounding like I can Yeah, man. It was in investor.activision.com, I think is what it's called. Dallas but, Optic Gaming? But the, the well, that's the thing. That's, this is, this is what, what the, what, oh, yeah. are they going to make Optic, are they going to make us give up the name and they're gonna make us come up with a name. Good luck with that, yeah, dude. Right. Have fun doing know. that. Imagine. Well, they, had, they did that with the outlaws. They didn't oh, let us call. Yeah, but the, the outlaws, outlaws wasn't different. like in a like like yeah. imagine Seth being the Dallas do-gooder. Like <laughs> what? Like, no, imagine well, like if we did it, let TSM. Weird, but I could see like no, I could I could see that big time for sure. Yeah, well, so look, us. League of Legends didn't do it because they had big, huge names like Cloud9, TSM. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and what? That's what. I, that's what. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> but that's legal. That's riot. Okay. Blizzard in Overwatch didn't have that uh, same thing. The way the Call of Duty has optic phase envy. It is the same uh, company too. Yeah. Uh? Activision Blizzard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it might because they can't because the, the, the purpose of the league is that they co-share and they co-own the the spot in the league and all that, right? So. Um, so, uh, how how is that gonna uh, how is that gonna work, right? Because what what are we gonna do? Give up ownership of of, of uh, optic, lol. To give up ownership of optic and share it with them too. We'd have to sell out then, I think, and I don't know if we should do that. Right? Sure. <laughs> we have to sell out. All right. Don't um. sell out. Buy in, bro. Buy it. <laughs> Um, the reason I said that, <laughs> uh, the reason I said I think it might be a huge year for COD uh, esports, 
It's because there's always been such a... <laughs> so I derailed your point, by the way, by bringing it up. Yeah, I'm so all, sorry. I tried to start it, and you guys... All <laughs> no, I, 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 get back on track. Um, Competitive ooh. gameplay yeah, uh, of the franchises. There's, been, there's always been such a a difference between um, you know pubs and competitive and and Treyarch has always been always been the the people that have tried to bring it together and then it has to be so frustrating for everyone at Treyarch after their game's done it's just like it all goes away yeah. dude the, 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 start the, the transition it, from Black the, Ops 2 to Ghost was the worst the, the, thing the worst it, transition that that it is it is oh. it is the exact same thing as one step forward and three steps yeah. back yeah. Right, because you never, you never advance. Even though there's this one studio that's pushing, 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 pushing. I mean, you have to think. Black Ops One to Modern Warfare Three was horrible because Modern yes. Warfare Three didn't even have LAN like features. Yeah, you had to and like. Then you go it? from Black Ops Two to Ghosts, and everything. horrible. That. And then you go from Black Ops Three to IW. I've been like, saying this terrible. for like two years. Like they need to have, and maybe they'll start. It seems like they had like paint shop seems like it's been in the last like two or three of them and now like they need to take like the the competitive like utility of it and just put it in all of them but then yeah. add their own spice with the gameplay or yeah, whatever yeah. they're doing you know yeah as a, as a as a content creator having been making videos on call of duty since call of duty 2 every like this this whole like lobby thing where you like the barracks and all that stuff where you can do like the 1v1s in lobby and all that yeah. stuff like from, from that standpoint I was like I'm like oh my god this is a content creator's dream you you, you can be like king of the lobby or yeah. whatever 1v1s and challenge random challenging random people the whole nine yards I didn't have that like I again Fortnite came out at the same time but it, it's, it's still I think we're in this one like rut where if it's not something that Treyarch did that's supposed to be the way that Call of Duty is, we're going to be super unhappy at no matter what it is that they put out. Stop it! <laughs> well, the, the reason I bring that up is because I think this year, because everyone says it every year, COD's going to be 5v5. But I think that this year it <laughs> might happen because Treyarch always, like Black Ops 2 was the first competitive game to have streaks in it. Black Ops 3, you know, had the pick and ban system and, and like, you know, incorporated competitive like settings and, and stuff like into their actual game. And this year, just just seeing the pub the pub lobbies be five v five, it makes me think that COD is going to go five v five. It definitely could just to bring it all like, together. And there's a medic specialist. Never before has like somebody been able to be a medic. Be, be a medic. Yeah. So maybe the uh, Dallas Optic Gamingers would be looking for a fifth. I don't know. One thing Is too. Is Overwatch 66 or 5v5? 66. 66. Okay. Yeah. I but, think but with. I, I, I'm, I'm with you, by the way, 100%. Yeah. I've, uh, I think it's going to happen then. Especially because this is why I think it's going to happen, okay? And, and if we go back and look at what happened with, with uh, Overwatch, what happened with League of Legends, everybody that has a contract with players has the option of, you know, it, it kind of forces a sort of free agency where the player then, or the, in the org, Excuse me, get to choose where it is that they're going. If yeah. we do this, and if we follow the same sort of mentality that, that Treyarch, I'm sorry, that uh, Riot and Blizzard had with, uh, with LOL and, and OW, what's going to happen is that we are going to be forced to, I'm imagining, give up sort of our players and give up the, you know, the, the, the free agency, yeah. in a sense, and then we're going to have to go and acquire five players. At which point what? it's gonna, it's, yeah, it's gonna be wild. Imagine having to say, "All right, Seth, you're you're a free agent," and then everybody in the world is like, yeah. "Seth." Is like, that what like, happened like, in? Well, Overwatch wasn't like already established though. Is there an esport where it's been established League teams, yeah, and then they came in when they franchised it, and yeah. they just threw yeah, threw up a whole like fantasy draft or what? One thing I'm super interested in, obviously, is whether it's going to be 5v5, but if it is franchise, and if it is 5v5, how many players are going to be on the team? Because it's not going to be five. No, it's going to be way more, right? So we have the academy that's going to be, that's yeah. going to be there. So a new, new, new academies are going to come up. The thing is, our, so, for example, somebody as big as, 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 as uh, Bjergsen, right, yeah. from TSM, he stayed yeah. with Bjergsen. You know, I, I feel that luckily, you know, our players have that sort of good relationship with Optic <laughs> right now that... They would want to stay with 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 optic. Yeah. So, I don't know. Now to pick up a fifth a fifth person. Yeah, um, it wouldn't be as simple as doing that because if they add this many roles, like like one of the things like about Overwatch that kind of confuses me is like how many people that can go in and out, and it's like I can't yeah. get emotionally like attached to like a certain player. I mean, 
Yeah, I get that. Because they're situational. But it is like crazy. Like I remember watching an episode of um, Focus. <laughs> oh, <should> I, like <laughs> blanked on like the name. Like seventy documentary names <laughs> just rush through your brain. You're like, which one? Um, I was watching an episode of that, and they just like th they they were just like, oh, they don't know they don't know what we got coming for them, and they threw Boink in, and he was just disgusting for for like a map. And it's like it would be so cool. Like imagine if we have like you know our four players, and then you know. For, we say we have Damon, and so we have these five players that are playing this respawn, and then S and D is next, and we throw in like, like. Dude, uh, we like, could have like a S and D yeah. team. I don't. Do you think that would happen though with Call well, of Duty I, specifically? That's why I don't think it should be a ten team. I think it should be seven team, seven players per team, eight max. So, because I don't want it to be an S and D team as well as a respawn. How team. many? How many? Sure, you know, like I don't. I don't want that. This is this is why it's good and why it's bad. Obviously, Call of Duty has thrived on the fact that open events welcome the entirety of yeah. of, of, of the community to play. Us four can show up, sign up, and play. Yeah. Right. So that's that's the beautiful thing about Call of Duty is that everybody has a chance to play against Scumpy. If they're good enough and if yeah. they advance and the bracket. Like, like it's happened thing. before. Like that's where happened, happened happened new three players days, happened three come days up. Ago. Um, the. the the other thing is that those same people that show up that are not, you know, just not good enough to get to that level now are going to be able to make a living off of Call of Duty because they're going to be picked up by either academy teams or bench yeah. uh, for, for every Call of Duty team. So as, a, yeah. as, a, as, a, as an ecosystem, it benefits the players, but at the same time, it does a disservice to what made Call of Duty Call of Duty, which was MLG and the open events. <laughs> That was, um, that was like one of the things I saw like being commented around the rumor was like, what the heck, no, I just can't show up and, and yeah. you know, make a name for myself. But it's like you're saying, like these academy teams are becoming a lot more common. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's kind of like, like minor league baseball and then exactly. the like it's, MLB. It's finally becoming, like it's becoming Traditional. Yeah, something that's like as cool as MLG events are, like I love MLG events. And, um, but, but you... That's just not how prof anything that's done professionally, like at, at a at a competitive Imagine like level. the Yankees. Exactly. Like yeah. they're like, just show, show up, up at this you can day. Play the Yankees. Like, <laughs> like what? <laughs> exactly. Like people can get hurt out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, that's that's the difference, obviously. Right? Um, I don't know. I think I think uh, I for one welcome it just because let's see what happens. Uh, but at the same time, I, I am gonna miss the days that were and what made made out you know call of duty call of duty yeah. yeah but at the same time like it does need to evolve into something more professional what players if... can't no longer walk in on the same in the same doorway as yeah. as as we all as spectators get to do they should have their own entrance they should have like allocated time frames as to when they do their signings and the scheduling of everything needs to be yeah. you know that, yeah you know not not left up to chance or whatever and mlg well, MLG runs the Overwatch League, right? Production-wise. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you got to think like if MLG is still involved, like they understand. It's not like MLG is going to be like, well, we're not going to do any. Like they're going to find a way to bring the hype, and also like local tournaments as well are going to continue to be a thing. So like there's, I don't know. I I feel like the same way that you know there's. There's uh, the Yankees that are playing. You watch them whenever they play. I don't know mm -hmm. baseball, and then you can go play a pee wee tournament, you know, in or a softball league in your local church league. Like it's going to be the same thing. Like, you know, you can watch the professional players play, and, and you're still going to be like, man, I want to play at that level. And then you can you like know, a get side a team, tournament play type GBs. Of thing. You can play online tournaments. You can play local tournaments. <clears> and, you know. I think maybe if they like meet in the middle a little bit, like you said, like MLG like understands yeah. how we got to this point, and if they want to try to bring in this new system, like hopefully they can, you know, even yeah. it out. I don't think it needs to be as serious as the Overwatch League. I hope it's, it's not. Still something. Yeah. And but there's so still... much online play that. Yeah, exactly. It ha it's it's gonna have to be, bro. Imagine. So, so <clears throat> there's all public information, I'm sure, but. It, it costs $13 million to buy a league spot, and there's a, a massive approval process to get into the LCS. $10 million if you had already been competing in the LCS, like the TSMs, the Cloud9s, Team Liquids. For Overwatch, it was $20 million around there to, to get into, into that, and you know, Overwatch was coming up. right? It, it didn't have the history that Call of Duty has. It, you know, the audience hadn't already been built for competitive uh, or... or <laughs> You know, yeah, they kind of like started from scratch. They were like, yeah. well, hope this works. Yeah. And it seems to, I mean. It's crazy because I feel like, 
I don't know if it was like leaked or if it was public information about how much money it cost to get into Overwatch, but I think <coughs> that, al that alone mm -hmm. pushed it. What is the reason why people started watching? They're like, why the hell would you buy? Yeah. And they started watching, they were like, actually, this is kind of dope. Yeah. And now the view is there. Yeah, so obviously, and, I, and I've always preached this, as, as, a, uh, as a developer and as a studio that creates video games, you never set out to build anything besides a fun video game for people to play. You never set out to be a league, you never set out to be a sport, you never set out to be that sort of thing in this. In this. Yeah. We turned it, the, the fans turned it into that. So for them to ask for that much money to put on the production level that it needs or, or to support the league the way it supports it, understandable. My question though is how much is call it's call it's Call of Duty gonna be? Because Call of Duty is a billion dollar industry minimum a year, period. Every year they make that. Even the bad ones. Even the Yeah, even the bad that's what I was just gonna say. Like if they're gonna take all of that money and like well, no, put it infrastructure into it they're not they're gonna take that from the orgs no yeah they're gonna and take they're gonna that in there. Yeah. no yeah they're gonna take like the orgs money then they need to like not change the game in a negative way every year like that's one of the things mm -hmm. that hurts call of duty is like Do every think, year it changes well, that's 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 also a thing i think that that's that's uh that's something that we're gonna have to negotiate personally <clears throat> i mean if if you're putting in 20 plus or 10 plus million dollars into this into it's this thing 10 plus Huh? It's gonna be ten million. It's definitely gonna, it's be, gonna 10 be ten plus. Million, yeah. Yeah. I just said twenty plus. You don't think it's gonna be twenty? You don't think it's gonna be more than twenty? It might be more than twenty. I could see it because if I can literally, I can, I, I can tell I, you. I could logically see it, yeah, but I don't, I, I, I don't know. You know, I've been, I've been, step, I've, I've been, I stepped away from some of those conversations. The, the reason I would say maybe not twenty million because it's console based, unless that's something else that they're also looking into where it becomes PC based, and which would then. <laughs> It that is, would be, be completely different it than is the original thing, up. you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, bottom bottom line is, is is that Call of Duty has a long standing history of selling and, and being the best selling piece of entertainment every year. Every year, yeah. yeah. Okay, so, <clears throat> as, you know, that, that justifies X amount of an investment, whether yeah. it's 10 or whether it's 50, it justifies it. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of... It's going to be insane. I don't know if it's going to be like... We just kind of went down like a rabbit hole of we like did. just insanity. I don't know if it'll be like that abrupt, but it's definitely got like the juices flowing of like what the heck's going yeah. on. Regardless, I'm excited for more... I'm excited for teams to be more than just the players playing for the first time. Yeah. That is going to be... I think that's going to be so dope. Whenever I, I found out that that's how Overwatch was being run, I was just like, holy hell, that's so sick. Like just having... If you had eight players... And then you had, you bring up two people, uh, yeah, make sure my math is right. Yeah. You bring up two people from the academy, and then you can practice. And yeah. then those two people from the academy get a chance to, you know, scrim, or, or a chance to play with the main team. It's like a practice squad, and then you have, you know, like Teep over top of them. Like, imagine like a four-team so setup, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah. imagine like, Teep competing. Yeah. Teep competing as well, yeah. So but I, right now, to be honest, I think Teep is probably the best coach I've ever seen. Yeah. Like the the way that like the the VOD, the way he goes over vods, the way that he he talks to those four guys as as a coach like a, a would coach talk, would yeah. talk to yeah. like he doesn't give a shit He's not going to like yeah. butter it up. You're crimp six and you've won most. He's this like, is what we have to He literally they had just lost and he was just like, "Why we we'd go over this every fucking day." And I was just like, "Oh my god." I'm sitting there like, "Oh, damn." Yeah, god I, damn. I I legit super super happy with that. Yeah. And I was talking to him and I'm like, I'm like, bro, you, you, you can definitely compete against these scrubs. So he's, like, he's like, there is not a single doubt in my mind that I am pers I'm better than 90% of the people in here. That's crazy. And he is. Yeah. And he is. He just happened to not, 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 Damon can compete still. TP can compete still. Like, it's not, yeah. that's not even a question, right? Um, but I think he's done really, he, he's done not only a good job for, for, the, for, the, for the players, and yeah, we haven't won, but just for, for, from a, Mentality, preparing them yeah. uh, to to be a player and, and 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 understand that you know the coach is the coach is the coach has done really really good because I see a, def a definite a change in the demeanor of, of both Krim and and Seth, which is like cool. The fact that they work out with TP too, like yeah. that helps as well. Yeah, like team yeah. building, team yeah. bonding, all that good stuff. I think it helps. It was good. Anyway, back to E three, I guess. Or what are we talking about? So I'm just kidding. You can go talk about your llama. Oh yeah, you want to tell the so, llama story? I, I've told the story of the llama uh, a whole bunch of times, so I'm going to say it as fast as possible. Okay, but but I will set the setting. <laughs> I will set the setting. 
Uh, we went to, Fuiz and I showed up to the Fortnite party, okay? And you don't know what you, to expect when you're walking in. You just expect maybe, because parties are usually in a theater or in like a warehouse and it's just music, lights and everything. This was, you are literally walking into Fortnite. Okay, when you walk in, you walk in through, through bushes as you would in Wailing Woods or Lonely Lodge. You walk in and it's just grass, grass, grass. And then there's the red carpet. And then in the red carpet, you have a, a guy in a bush just walking around, a guy in a bush <laughs> walking around. And then once you get past it to the, to the right, you see something like, um, like Retail Row, where you can get tacos at Tacos, you can get <coughs> burgers at Dirt Burger, and it's all free, everything's free there. You can literally sit there and eat 100 tacos. I didn't attempt to, but I, I wanted to. I would've been in heaven. Yes, you, you, can, you can walk in and have everything, and then you have the main stage, and to the left, to, the, to the, each side of the main stage, you have uh, two VIP sections, all right? You have Wailing Woods, if you keep on walking, you have, like, it, it was super, super, super dope. Like, you could, you could have partied anywhere on the map, okay? But here is where the story gets tricky. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna super shrink it down to whatever it is. I woke up with Wiz, Nate Shot, and Courage to the VIP section. Behind the VIP uh, section where you eat, there's a bowl of, uh, of nachos where you can make nachos. Behind it, there was a llama. Immediately, I said to myself, I'm gonna steal that llama. I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna deal with the consequences, period. Yeah. The whole night goes by, I go back, back to the place so I can, you know, pull the heist, and it wasn't there. I go back to the other VIP <laughs> section, I tell Nate Chad, uh, Courage and Fuiz, I'm like, yo, that shit's gone, I can't take it, and they're like, ha, 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 ha. Nate Chad was there with, his, with, with other people, and in a different group, there was another person, that person that we were with happened to have the llama that I wanted under his coat, and I was like, God, I wish that would have been me. Anyway, everybody leaves, we all leave, we wake up. Somebody from Fortnite said that they, that they placed eight llamas for people to take. And the, the reason that they didn't announce is because imagine a thousand people looking for llamas. Yeah. It, got, it got so bad that some people would distract uh, security while their friend would jump on top of a dirt burger to steal a llama. Some people pick locked uh, cars to get what? the llama out of the police yeah, car. There's a car there's Someone a pick locked what? a cop car? Yeah. They did You're everything kidding. they there's could. There's no way. Yeah, they Dude, did they everything they could to get those. All the llamas were gone. Okay? You're and savage I, if you pick lock a cop car. I, I, <laughs> I did not give up. So I ended up finding one um, on eBay and I ended up buying it. Uh, but there's I only, found it on eBay? I thought you like found a guy that had it and you were like... Yeah. I just didn't want to throw the guy under the bus, oh. which you just did. Anyway, so now that she did it, <laughs> eBay I'm user, free, I'm free, I'm free Steve yeah. guy, so, man. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to buy three she llamas because I, I bought Shut one. I, I bid on eBay for the second one. The second, the, the, the eBay bid sold for eleven hundred bucks. What? Okay, that one llama sold for eleven hundred dollars. All right, so. I, I wanted to get three so I can have like the one and then do a super hype beast cost sort of scenario where I paint one of the llamas all black and the other one all gold and have the main oh, one in the middle. Damn. So so it could be like in the back of the podcast, like so cool, cool stuff, right? Um, but yeah, it was it was it was a good adventure. There's only eight of them out there. I have one and a whole bunch of people have the other seven, which was to me super cool. Yeah, I was about to If you have a llama and you're watching this, send it over. Hit me up. I'll buy it off of you. Yeah, I was literally about to, because I think they said, uh, or you said on Sunday, your your price limit for the uh, the one on eBay, and I was literally about to go on and just start messing around, like, <laughs> keep, keep telling you up and see how much uh, Were you going to pay me back for that? No. Because <laughs> think about just it. You're just trolling? Because the prank? Told, the, if you actually bought it for like 5000 or whatever, I wouldn't I would have not paid $5,000. That's what I'm saying, but I would have never told you. No, I wouldn't have. <laughs> <I would've, laughs> Because I, I was talking to Hitch, we were, and it was just me and him and we were going somewhere. And then, uh, oh no, Mike, you were in the front seat. And then Hitch is like, how much, what's the top? I, said, what, I was like, what is oh, the yeah. peak number? Like the top you would pay for a llama. A thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. I was like, so if the guy was like 1300, he was like. Deal. Okay. I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, think about it. Um, but yeah, I'd, uh, I think, I think. Uh, I think it was well worth it, and then seeing somebody buy it for more than what I bought mine for, like solidify the fact you that I felt like make, you got a deal. Yeah, you got yeah. A deal. <laughs> I didn't make a mistake, you know. Um, I don't know. That's it was awesome. it was it was a it was a good experience. It was, it was it's, I've been to E3 seven times. This was my seventh one. This was by far the most memorable one because of the adventure that I went on, thanks to Fortnite, um, and the and the amazing times that I had. But I, I ran into. I was I was a little bit 
on the happy side, yeah. drunk. And from Fortnite, we went to the Twitch party. And in the Twitch party, I ran into everybody. I ran into Damn. Banks, who I haven't seen in like three years. Wow, I yeah. haven't seen Banks in forever. Yeah, I ran into Banks. I ran into Tom in there, and we're like, we're like oh my God. And then uh, everybody was there. Yeah. And it was like one of those blur, like, you know how when you that dream, you, like you kind of blurry like see people, like hazy see people. Yeah. Like, that's how I woke up the next day. I'm like, did that really happen? Like, like, did, did I, I see everyone? Did, did I, I see everyone I've ever met? Anyway. Uh, but yeah, your experience for E3 on a scale to 1 to 10? I mean, it was, it was fun. Uh, would you go back? Yeah, I would definitely go back. This time if I go back, I now know that E3 parties exist. Because mm-hmm. I didn't know that E3 parties were even a thing. So um, all, of my fr- like, like all of my friends that were... Like they were just trying so hard every day to get into E three parties. They were texting like multiple people. They would stand outside of the party just to get in. And I was like, I am not doing that. I was gonna say that sounds that's, like not that great yeah. of a time. So I, like me trying to get into an E three party it was me texting Hex, be like, Yo, can you get me into this? And then he'd be like, Probably not. And I'd be like, All right, cool. I'm just gonna <laughs> chill. Cool. And me and Mike would chill. And, and we and chill. That, yeah, and that's pretty. pretty I mean, much LA's what a pretty I cool got, chill I got place. I the so. YouTube party and pretending to be Jack's manager. That yeah. Was cool. <laughs> Because Dude, you couldn't you have do. texted Fuez, who was standing five feet from you. Well, I went with Alex. You remember Alex? No. Rubens? Yeah, of course. Well, he, well, created, he literally created the list, and he was like, okay. he was trying to put me on. He's like, I can't because of the like the actual yeah. building building. Yeah. And so I was like, you're going to go in his Jack's thing. So he was there with me, forcing him to pretend yeah. that I was Jack's uh, manager. I, I will say this. I will go back to E3, but only if I'm working the, the floor as a, you know, if I'm playing at a, at a stream or, or doing yeah. a meetup. Um, or having meetings, but as far as like the parties go, unless it's a Fortnite party, I'm not going to any parties. I'm legit really? gonna after the hazy experience. Yeah, just, yeah but, but I have that. The, the, Fortnite. Uh, yeah, True. I hate it. I hate it. I, I just didn't hit the chug. I just didn't go. Like good I just, to go. It's not my thing. I realized as I was sitting in the uh, in the face it party on Monday that it's just not not my scene anymore. You know, yeah. I'm a 30 year old man. You know, <laughs> dis- distinguished. 30-year-old man. I don't know. I just, you know, I see people dancing and having a blast. And I will say this. There was, when, the, when the party first opened, and you're going to agree with this, when the party, party first opened, there was nobody on the dance floor. There was music going on, but there was only like three dudes in there just like getting down, like really going in on the dance, and there's nobody around. Those guys are the ones that give the props the most because they're literally there to dance because they love dancing, not like everybody else that waits so they can hide in the crowd and pretend like they're part of a bigger thing. They're literally there for, for the dance. Yeah. So I give those guys a... A huge uh, they round They need of liquid applause. courage, man. Not yes. everyone can just go nah, out there. No, this and... dude was with, like three dudes. One of them sucked. The other one sucked, and then one of them really knew how to dance. But those two that sucked are the ones that I give props to. Because like, <laughs> it takes like literal courage to get out there and, and you know try try to have fun. But yeah. next year you can have my pass to I'll if you want to go to the parties, which I think you should. How old are you? Yeah, twenty five. Twenty nine. Jeez, oh, man. Twenty-five. Think you're funny, huh? <laughs> yeah, right. So you're old. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think that's gonna do it for this podcast. Everybody, thank you for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed oh, it, please remember to leave a like, uh, share it. I uh, don't know if we're uploading these yet to uh, iTunes, iTunes, SoundCloud, or anything else. Um, I don't know. We'll figure it out and we'll put, put them out there. Put them on Anchor. Take some calls and as I do on my soon to be part of it. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you in the next one.